Good way to determine the efficiency of your bow is to test the penetration. As you will see in this video, some lighter poundage bow penetrate more than heavier bows, which means that they are transferring more energy into the arrow, which make that bows more efficient. I will test the 10 bows that I made. For each of these bow I have a video of full making process, which I will put in the description. For the target I am using 10 layers of tightly woven carpet sandwiched between layers of high density foam. This is extremely difficult to penetrate which is good for this test. First bow is this 36 inches short tricker bow which is one of my favorite bows. In order to achieve the full draw this bow have a lot of deflex in the riser, which translate in less energy storage. But this bow stores a lot of energy due to its heavy draw weight, so it's not a joke. Each bow I will test with an arrow that I find works best for that bow. Ten point five, not bad. Ten point five again. And the last shot is ten point two. Next bow is my forty four inch high performance fiberglass bow. It is perfect bow for hunting. It's fast, accurate and really short. It's two-piece takedown bow. It's very smooth and can be drawn up to 30 inches. Video of making of this bow is very popular on my channel, so you can check it. Eight point five. Eight point seven, nine, this is the second version of a previous bow, it's a little bit more efficient probably due to its long static tips. It's a Assyrian inspired bow made from fiberglass. I really like this transparent natural color of the fiberless. Eight point five nine centimeters. The last shot is 8. This bow is a hybrid between a longbow and a recurve. Best of both worlds. I made these limbs by molding fiberglass and carbon cloth into the compression mold, which makes them very durable. I put a video of that process in the description. This bow is highly efficient and stable. It's probably my favorite design. Currently I'm working on a similar bow, but in the higher draw weight, so stay tuned for that. Impressive for a 50 pound bow. Eight point five nine centimeters, nice.
The next bow is a real beast. It have a Nika archery carbon and fiberglass mod limbs and G10 riser. It is 85 pounds, so it have a lot of power. I shoot this bow a lot. It has no vibration and hand shock due to the G10 riser. Also, it is two piece takedown like most of my bows. As you can see, I uh, really like the look of the carbon fiber. Eleven point five eleven centimeters. Twelve centimeters, which is highest yet. Now this is the bow that I shoot the most. It also have a Nick Archery molded limbs and solid G10 riser. Before making this bow I've experimented a lot with riser and limb angles, so this bow is really efficient. It will be interesting to see how this bow compares with previous one, since it's 12 pounds lighter. Eleven point six eleven point four eleven point four again. This next bow is a Comanche inspired bow which I made from kids bow. This bow is really simple to make, it takes me only about 2 hours to make it, without curing of the epoxy of course. It is perfect for horse archery and speed shooting. Maximum draw length of this bow is only 24 inches, so that is not ideal for this test, but let's see how it performs. Six point five, six point six, six point five. Not bad for such a short draw length. This is the entry-level Ricker bow from Decathlon. Originally it was about 24 pounds and now is 50 after the modification. The limbs are made from some kind of plastic, which is really smooth but stores a lot less energy than say carbon or fiberless. Six point five. Six point five again. As you can see, this bow is not really efficient, but it's good for beginners. This is the most famous bow that I made. Video of making this bow is by far the most popular on my YouTube channel. I basically take a 
10 pounds kids bow and modified it to about 30 pounds of draw weight. Due to its extremely narrow and lightweight limbs, it is very efficient. This bow is perfect for hunting small game. Six point nine, six point eight. This is impressive for thirty pound bow. The idea behind this bow was to make a really simple bow without using any power tools and with just basic materials. I've used only super glue and some nylon twine, no epoxy. Anyone can make this bow in just one day or so. Let's see how it compares with others. Eight point five, eight point seven, eight point four. Pretty good. These are the results. As you can see, draw weight plays a huge role in penetration. Let's remove the draw weight factor and see which bow is most efficient pound for pound. We're gonna do that by taking the average penetration depth and divide it by bow draw weight. The higher number we get, the higher is the efficiency of that specific bow. For the sake of simplicity, we will use just first three numbers without zero. And we get this number which is the efficiency for the Dragon Slayer bow. As we can see the list looks totally different now. On the first place is a deadly toy bow, which actually is the bow with the lowest poundage in this list. Followed by the snake, which is really efficient bow. And the dragon slayer which was the best at the previous test end up on the seventh place. This test was really interesting to me. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.